They say if you eat fat, you're going to get fat. But that's not true. Fat is one of the most misunderstood macronutrient there is. And it's discussed so much that the positive effect of fat are almost ignored. So in this video, I'm going to debunk some of the myths about the most misunderstood macronutrient. Let's talk about fats today. Hey guys, Ahbar Ajay from properfitness.com and this is the third video from a three video series on macronutrient and if you haven't already watched my video on protein and carbohydrates, you can click somewhere right here and today we are talking about fats. Fat is one of the three macronutrients your body needs in order to function properly. Fat itself is composed of a smaller unit called fatty acid which we'll talk later in the video and fat is really caloric dense. A gram of fat contains 9 calories, whereas a gram of protein or carbohydrates contain only 4 calories. That means if you eat food containing 100 grams of fat, it will give you 900 calories. And if you eat food containing 100 grams of carbohydrate or protein, it will give you 400 calories. And if you haven't already watched my video on calories, you can click right here to understand what calorie is. Go ahead and click that. There are three kinds of dietary fat. Number one is saturated fat. These are the kind of fat that comes mainly from animal food like fatty red meat or chicken with skin or dairy products like butter contain high amount of saturated fat. Excess saturated fat can increase your cholesterol and may lead to a lot of cardiovascular diseases. And this is a kind of fat that your body can naturally produce. So limiting saturated fat is always a good option. Number two, unsaturated fat. This is a kind of fat that's present more mainly in plant products like avocado, peanut butter, olive oil, sunflower oil. Unsaturated fat is also present in some of the fatty fishes. Having a diet containing unsaturated fats is really good for your heart and saves you from heart related illnesses and type 2 diabetes. Number three, trans fat. This is a kind of fat that you should eliminate completely from your diet. This fat reduces your HDL that is good cholesterol and increases your LDL that is a bad cholesterol and it's really bad for your heart. This fat is so bad that in 2003 WHO has actually recommended 0.9% of trans fat from, a, for, from your daily diet and in 2018 WHO has actually taken a step to completely eliminate trans fat from the global food supply. Trans fat can cause stroke, diabetes and many other health diseases. And even a small amount of trans fat can actually be very harmful for you. A study done on trans fat, for every 2% of trans fat you have from your daily calories, it increases your risk of having heart disease by 23%. So please, no trans fat. Fat is really caloric dense. A small amount of fat can give you energy for a longer period of time. And fat is mainly used for energy and it can also be used to be stored in your body for later use and it also provides essential fatty acids that is needed for the growth and development and the cell function of your body and it can also help uh, with your brain and nerves development because your brain and nerves contain large amount of fatty acids when your diet don't have enough amount of fat then you're going to be hungry all day and it's also bad for your skin you're going to have a dry and scaly skin it's bad for your hairs your hair is going to be dry and you might even see the hair loss and it's really necessary to absorb some of the fat soluble vitamins and without it without fat some of the vitamin in your body cannot be absorbed you need to have somewhere around 20 to 30 percent of your diet from a healthy fat and some of the example for healthy fat can be avocados dry fruits olive oil peanut butter and you can see a lot of other options on the screen So that's it guys, that's it for today. If you like this video, press that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if this video can help somebody, please share this video as well. And if you have any suggestion or recommendation for my next video, please comment down. Thank you for watching my video till the end. Thank you.